Someone must be around. Hello? Jonah? Miguel? Can you hear me? Where are you? This is the flight log from our plane. Miguel made notes about the long-term weather forecast. Warm, hot, and dry for the next three days. Highs in the low 30s, mostly clear skies with nothing but light rain expected. Based on his other entries, if Miguel had thought the chances of a severe storm were better than half, he wouldn't have flown us at all. But there was no storm predicted, let alone something serious. I didn't know the storm would hit so hard. This is all my fault. I should have listened to Jonah, thought it through. I never should have taken that dagger. I hope no one else was hurt. No other village destroyed. I need to stop these cataclysms before it's too late. After the plane landed here, my gear might be a sharp piece of scrap in that section of the wreck.
I'll need a tool to open that. But it's dull. I need to find something to sharpen it. Exactly what I was looking for. Just need a bit more. Got everything I need. Should head back to camp. Cusco belongs to Hernando Pizarro, rightful representative of the Spanish crown. Diego de Almagro has been captured. Rodrigo Orgones is dead, and the rest of their heretic forces routed. We made a crossing over the mountains and appeared on the coast outside of Cusco. Orgones marched to meet us at Cachupampa, a poor choice for his cavalry. His falconets threw Gonzalo's infantry charge into disorder but the swampy ground prevented his seasoned cavaliers from true advantage. Our imperial arquebusier breached the river and unleashed hellfire on the opposition. Pizarro and Orgones led their respective cavalries, each merging to a single charging column, all of the men yelling, and met at full gallop. I had never seen such a thing. Somewhere in the chaos of battle, Orgones was shot and unhorsed and killed, they say the coward Almagro retreated from the battlefield atop an ass. 
Fitting. Excerpt from Alonzo Louisa's journal. That should be sharp enough. Something's still holding the supplies. Ah, oh, there's a second rope tethering them. Now I can get my gear back. <sighs> Why didn't I pack all my equipment together? Miss Croft? Anyone? Come in! Miguel? Where are you? Damn! Careful, careful. This will lead. Thirtieth of May. This morning we entered uncharted territory, leaving the sun-bleached bones of dead horse camp behind. It seems the tables have turned on Rally, almost quite literally. His bandaged leg has slowed his pace and made him the tail of our party. When father notices, he slows, turning around to give us both an encouraging smile. His overly eager step betrays his calm demeanor as he rushes past us at the sight of every nearing turn, ridge, or embankment. Oh, 
Careful, careful. Wonder where this will lead. This seems to describe a hidden chamber nearby. What do we have here? Got to be the way up.
Miguel? I don't like this. Miguel? Where are you? Oh no. <sighs> Miguel? Miguel? Every part of the world seems to have its own mythical, forest-dwelling, bipedal creature. Around here, it's known as the Sisamite, the guardian of the forest. Described as large and ape-like, it's rumored to kill male humans on sight, but takes the females to its cave for mating purposes. Miguel? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 